Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Zanut here. I have um, um, some benchmarks for the uh, custom modified um, Corsair 600T that uh, water cooled. Um, on the screen here, you, sh you should be seeing the um, uh, it's a screensaver or a desktop that I have right now on my system, so you can so I can take you through the the parts. Uh, if you've been watching the video, you know it's based on the uh, Z77 Sabertooth. Um, uh, motherboard from Asus uh, with its thermal armor, so that nice black uh, coating throughout it, which matches the uh, the black Corsair 600T case I have. Um, it also has a um, it has an i5 2500K um, CPU, um, and uh, it has um, some uh, Corsair 1600 um, megahertz RAM. Although I've got some uh, white vengeance ram that's uh, coming in that I'm going to put in here um, we'll see how that looks but uh, anyway water cooling uh, uh, from a water cooling perspective there are two radiators in this uh, one of the things that you don't see here is because uh, it was part of the, the key customization I did I mounted the uh, a th a 360 magic cool slim rad in the top over the top of the uh, of the uh, Corsair 600T and uh, so all you see are the fans um, that are um, in a uh, push config, and so that offered plenty of space and didn't in, in, you know, interfere with any of the connections to the motherboard at all. Um, and then also the other radiator here is a uh, Phobia 200, and that's in the front. And I was able to utilize the bracket mount that it had, along with some of the uh, Phobia uh, bracketry um, that comes with the radiator and the Corsair case um, fan mount and modified it so that I have the 200 mil fan that uh, that was part of the the case in the front it's hidden inside that shroud there and then this is the one that was in the top of the case so that one uh, is mounted here so it's in a uh, push-pull config um, and uh, let's see here the rest of the system is a uh, Seasonic uh, 750 uh, fully modular power supply and um, the uh, rest of the water cooling bits are, um, this is a, um, a EK a reservoir on top of a coolant, uh, I believe it's a COV uh, pump uh, for a, uh, you know, MCP 655 pump, any D5 pump or coolant is PMP 450. And the one that's in there is a variable pump. Uh, it's a nice pump top with this, all this came with that pump top. Uh, so that's the pump and then it goes through some uh, bits power fittings out the back into the rad. I've got a coolant disconnect, a quick disconnect here to help uh, draining. Primo chill clear um, tubing uh, and a bunch of bits power fittings. Um, and this here is an EK um, uh, HF Supreme uh, water block. And then this is a GTX 670 um, with an EK um, uh, water block on it as well. It's the uh, uh, GTX 680 um, water block that's on this reference 670 card. That's one of those full length cards by uh, EVGA for the win. And uh, and you, what you see here is this white milky stuff is the Mayhem's white pastel. Um, so that's the system. Uh, and uh, there's a uh, 256 gigabyte um, cr crucial. Um, SSD and just a regular uh, optical drive from Sony DVD CD uh, reader writer and probably missing something but uh, those are the key pieces in the system so now I've got some benchmarks to show you uh, I uh, the stock um, speed on this uh, CPU is 3.3 uh, uh, on the i5 2500k and I overclocked it to 4.7 so I've got some got some benchmarks to show you here first of all um, what I'll show you is the um, I ran um, Intel burn-in test uh, version 2.53 um, I, uh, it passed all eight threads, but uh, I set it to maximum, used up uh, all the RAM. There's uh, eight gig of RAM in there, and uh, 
and this showing you here that uh, the highest temps that I got uh, with this thing was uh, 68 degrees C on one of the cores. So one was really cool, the other three were up higher. But during the run, you'll see here was only hitting 40 or 50s. And then you can see that uh, actually having the system uh, 1.4 volts on it to get it to run 4.7, although it must it drops down, it must be the V droop or whatever that's uh, bringing it down. But uh, there's 4.7, and uh, so it's stable. I'm playing games on it, and uh, it's been uh, running fine. So uh, just to show you the uh, temperature monitor and the uh, CPU-Z and the burn-in test that it did pass. Um, first thing I guess that I'll show you is um, some PC Mark 7 scores. Uh, here we have um, uh, at stock. At stock it's 4.733 and at um, 4.7 um, it's uh, 5,758. So a little, a little more than 100 points uh, gained when overclocking for PC Mark 7. And next one is uh, 3D Mark 11. These are the X cores. So at stock, it's uh, the X score was 3,083, and um, and in, uh, overclocked it uh, it moved up to uh, almost well, not not you know what 75 points. And you see the graphic scores here about the same. And it's the physics score that uh, went up dramatically here. All right. And let's see, we'll show you the 3D Mark 11 P score. And here we have uh, at stock, it's 7,758. And uh, overclocked, it's 9,010. And you can see again the graphics score is about the same. It did not overclock the graphics card in any way. It's that's running at stock. The physics score is what went up dramatically, um, almost uh, 3,000 points in this physics score. That's 3D Mark 11. And now uh, we'll uh, so that was the P score. Next scores. I'll take you to 3D Vantage, 3D Mark Vantage score. And you have here. Uh, at stock, um, P score was 24,356, and um, the P score uh, overclocked to 4.7 was 30,715. So um, you can see the CPU test scores 2059. This is 3295. That's the, the the percentage increase is the biggest on those. Uh, the X scores for Vantage. 18,147 to 18,827. So um, about 700 points more uh, for 3D Mark Vantage and the uh, Extreme Benchmark. Again, here you'll see the biggest uh, difference on the CPU score. 10,000 points alone on the CPU score alone. The GPU score is about a little bit more, just a few points more. And then we have um, Cinebench. Cinebench at stock. Uh, I only ran the CPU with 7.26 points. Um, and no matter whether it's overclocked or not, it reads the same. Uh, I don't know where it gets it from, but it just reads the same, uh, the stock values here. But this is overclocked, and it went up almost a little more, you know, 10 Point ten points, so from 7.26 to 7.35. So running Cinebench, overclocking it from 3.3 to 4.7. That's the uh, that's the change that you see. I don't have not you don't use Cinebench much and much, and I so I haven't seen the comparison between other processors. And looking at some of these, you can see uh, you know you, you get an idea of where it lies compared to some other chips. But uh, anyway. 7.26 stock, 7.35 overclocked. Um, and then uh, finally, um, having uh, benchmarks, even though that's the graphics card, it definitely makes a difference. Um, the stock running uh, the system at stock um, speeds, the, uh, the video card was producing frames per second of, a, uh, of 
the score was 2851 uh, and the minimum frames per second it was 25.1 and the max was 23.3 um, overclock frames uh, went up by what 14 points uh, 14 frames per second the score was uh, definitely higher there by uh, a, a bit quite a bit the minimum frames per second went up to uh, 34 and the max was um, 245 so you know overclocking the CPU definitely improved frames per second according to uh, heavens benchmark and the other thing to point out I just wanted to I'll point out here that's the temperature of the water-cooled graphics card um, you know this one here at the time it was running under 98 percent load it, I never saw it got higher than 43 or 44 degrees C and then during this portion um, of the testing it was 41 degrees C so the water cooling in this is working awesomely and I uh, haven't had any issues uh, at all either with the CPU or the graphics card and right now I don't plan to overclock the graphics card I may uh, tweak with that but I've got other systems that I'm working on right now so so that's it so I hope uh, you enjoyed um, the build um, blog for this uh, you know water cooled 600T uh, I enjoyed uh, building it it's one of the nicest systems I think I've done there's some tweaks I think like I said the video, the memory and I'm going to find a way to cover up the uh, red wires on that C-Sonic. But um, other than that, that's it. So I uh, hope you uh, liked it. If you do, please like. And um, if you're so inclined, please subscribe. Uh, that's it for Ron's a Nut. Thanks.